I'm Imran Ahmed, and I'm here in a fashionable East London on a very sunny Friday afternoon at an exhibition uh, with uh, art being displayed by John Squire, who I'm lucky enough to be joined by now. John, hello, how are you? Very well, thanks. What I wanted to do firstly was um, have you show us around here, because I know that people, well, Six Music listeners historically, do associate you with artwork, but traditionally the artwork that you used to do for album covers and stuff, mm -hmm. the rows and stuff, but this uh, exhibition is very different. So I wanted to know if you could just show us around and show us some of your favourite works and yeah, stuff. Sure. Great. Where should we start? Um, which, start. Was the, which is the, eld the eldest one here? Eldest one. They're all fairly new. Um, I think I started with this one about a month ago. Oh, so, so the oldest one is only a month old? Yeah, because uh, there was a show in July at the Smithfield Gallery. And I got straight onto this as that show opened. This was the first one I completed, called Empire. Um, it's uh, an exploration of the rear of the canvas. The, all the paint and wax was applied to the other side, and I, I, I stripped it off its substrate and, and decided to show the reverse of the work. And uh, for me, it's one of the most successful in the show. Um, reminds me of a faded flag. Okay, so these are all uh, wax on canvas. So have you been traditionally, uh, have you been experimenting more with uh, different materials and stuff as your uh, career has gone on? Well, specifically over the last two or three years, yeah. I've, I've been uh, inspired enough to explore new techniques. I've done my first bronze for this show, which was... So it says bronze and glass, but this is, so this is your first bronze. So what was the technique involved in doing that? Was it something that you had to like learn and train to do? Is it something you just kind of... No, that would have taken years, I mean... <laughs> I spent a few hours carving the piece and from plywood and uh, painting it with wax and then a, a team of six skilled individuals made the bronze for me. Do you get more, do you get nervous exhibiting your art? No, I thought that might be something that would happen but I've, I've found it really satisfying. It's a chance to see everything in a, a, a far cleaner context and see how it relates, each piece relates to the next. There's an a interesting video on your website where it says uh, someone asks you who's more contented, John Squire the musician or John Squire the artist. Uh, you said you didn't really know when you were asked that question at that time, mm. which was. Do, do you have any better idea now? Yeah, I think two shows in, I'm, I'm definitely more contented as the artist. I remember hearing on Front Row um, you being interviewed um, and people took when they heard what you had to say to mean that you don't, you're not really going to make much music in the future, if any at all. Is that the case? Yeah, I think I'm going to limit my music making to teaching the children how to play, you know. Great. I and mean, the only thing I've played recently is uh, ukulele to the Ramones in the kitchen. So. <laughs> That, so, was, that was my last gig. <laughs> um, I suppose the other obvious question is, no Stone Roses fan would forgive me if I didn't ask. Um, with the Happy Mondays Reformation, Smith's being offered loads of money to reform and stuff. Um, do you feel you have any unfinished business with the Roses at all? Um, I, I do miss playing live, but you know the, the work involved to get in towards the stage doesn't appeal to me at all. So, not never, but maybe. No, all I'd say is that I miss playing live. But for the moment, you know, the kitchen's as far as I'm prepared to go. <laughs> Sounds like a fun gig, though. Um, you should start charging in the kitchen. No. <laughs> um, and I suppose the other thing in that, if for anything like that to ever happen, would involve you and Ian Brown, I guess, communicating with each other. I remember reading an interview with him where it said that you haven't spoken in a long time. Is that any closer to having a conversation? I guess which would be the first step. Uh, I don't think anything's changed, no. I think we're up to 11 years now, is it, or 12? 